like and it's currently 7 a.m i woke up a few minutes ago but can you imagine it's a sunny day it is a sunny day this is gonna be an amazing week happy monday i think i'm gonna wear a dress to work today so let me go get ready for work and yeah i will take you along with me for the rest of the week hopefully it'll be a sunny week i'm dressed can you imagine i'm sun kissed at 7 45 a.m. in the morning in Masabit. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be such a beautiful day. I'm so excited. Um, also a good start to the week. I'm really happy for this week's vlog because it's gonna be full of sun vibes, full of happy vibes. So let me get to work and I will catch you catch up with you guys when I get back home. Bye! Hey guys, I'm back home. And this is like uh, the funniest story ever. So I was so excited, sun kissed and everything. Got to work and I was just like, yay, such a lovely sunny day. One hour in. <laughs> this is like around nine. Literally, it was like there was no sunlight in the morning. It was cold. I was freezing. And I kept thinking, why in the world did I not carry a sweater? Um, yes, I know why I didn't carry a sweater because it was sunny. I wore sandals. Yani, it's like I was living in the beach, forgetting that there's a mountain near me. So anyways, long story short, I had a shawl that I covered myself with the whole time I was working. And I just kept saying, never again, never again. <laughs> then like we had a glimpse of sunlight for like 30 minutes. I went and I sunbathed for a bit. Um, it was around lunchtime. And yeah, I have learned my lesson. Just because it's sunny doesn't mean it will not get cold. And the sun in here is like sunny but windy. So you still feel that cold, that breeze. And the sun isn't hot. It's just like, it's just sun. It's like sun and rain. Okay, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not the sun that you feel like, eh, hey, kuna joto like Nairobi, no? It's just sun. Like, hey. You know, I'm just cruising by. Yeah, if you don't wear a sweater, you're gonna regret it. Yeah, but anyways, I'm home right now. Mom is making dinner. Um, yeah, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. This morning, I was just thinking whether it was morning or afternoon. Um, it's been a really, really long week this week. Though it ended on Thursday, because <clears throat> today is Eid. Um, but I felt like I just had a long week at work. And I'm just happy to be home, relaxing and chilling and all that. So, um, quick update. We were woken up by um, my neighbors playing uh, traditional music, like with drums and all that, because they're celebrating Eid. And then um, the electrician came and fixed my cooker socket. So now my oven is working. I'm so, so excited. And the plan for the day is really simple. Just to chill, uh, bake, because I haven't baked since I came here. So bake. And yeah, I think I'm just also going to cook something special because it's it. Everybody else around me is in celebration mood. So I'm going to celebrate with them. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the plan for the day. Um, of course, I'm going to bring you along in my cooking videos. Yeah, and I hope you enjoy. we got um this is day two of week two of market day 
so okay so this first one my mom wanted clothes in whole and we also got like tiny sizes so we got clothes in whole for mom um i got these this is my daddy this is my daddy i got this from boga and then i have the apples that we picked up from the supermarket and i have potatoes so this is just lots and lots of potatoes the apples were 35 shillings each and the potatoes this amount was 200 shillings we got another vendor who wasn't actually measuring them but either way i still think that potatoes are expensive so next in the bag i have lots of veggies so this is a mixture of tomatoes and onions which i will sort out later um so the lady who sold these for us told us that the veggies come from meru and i think maybe that's why they're super expensive in terms of them coming since they are technically transported for a long distance so this was 80 shillings per kg for both of them so this was 80 this was 80 for the tomatoes and for the onions and then we got a little bit more onions if they're somewhere else and then the last bag in the market um we got these ones these are tangerines they were each one tangerine is 15 shillings each going for 15 shillings we got cucumbers going for 30 shillings um a piece i finally got hohos going for 10 shillings i feel like this is value for money um so more cucumber um more tangerines i'm just gonna remove i think i'm just gonna pour everything removed the stuff offline off camera sorry it's your offline uh so that i can pour some more on there so yeah we got more hohos um these two were actually 10 shillings so sell me the sons for five shillings each um this is all the green pepper we got and then i got more onions because we will be hosting this week so i just wanted extra onions um same uh, 70 per kilo so this was 35 shillings and then i also got um limau can you imagine this amount was 50 shillings uh, because they're doing it per kg and it's 200 a kilo so i'm gonna clear this off camera and then continue all right so let's get into the last paper bag <coughs> Oh, it's heavy. So, we got Kamande in the market. This is 200 shillings for a kg. <coughs> so, we got these bunch of... Um, <coughs> this was 80 shillings. Can you imagine 80 shillings? Uh, then I got the quadru. This was 50 shillings. Um, and then I got some assortment of meat. So I got minced meat and liver. Like I said, everything here at kg is 600. So um, this is half a kg and half a kg. And then I got half a kg of <coughs> goat meat. Um, let me just clear this out. And then the remaining thing in my big bag was this cabbage. Let me remove it. This is 120 shillings. Alright, I'm going to put this away and then we get into the final bag. <coughs> so finally for the last box, um, which is the supermarket box. So, I got coconut cookies so this is my mom's favorite cookie. I got some coconut cube powder. Um I got some mixed fruit juice and some orange juice. 
I got water um, in these sizes because my mom is traveling back to Nairobi, so she needed water. And then I got um, sweetened and then sweetened. So this is for my mom. This is for cooking. <coughs> so the sweetened ones are for mom and then the non-sweetened ones are for cooking. I wanted to make a new recipe. So that's for cooking. Um, I got a few snacks. I got masala sticks. These are my favorite. And then I got milk. So finally we got a brand that mom already takes, which is Tuzo. So, but we only could get them in this 200 pack. So we got a few. I think we got like eight of them. So yeah, eight of these. Side. I got yogurt, um, strawberry yogurt, and I also got vanilla yogurt. I got the oranges, one orange is 40 shillings, one orange goes for 40 shillings. Um, that's um, how much? So, I got four. You got a soap dish for the bathroom. I'm gonna put this aside. I got the coconut, tiny coconut creams. I got, I think, three of them. And then I got this um, duos by House of Mandri um, because I do want to bake a cake. And um, more snacks. So these ones are for mom again because she's traveling. I got those two. More milk. I got porridge. And then I also got this assorted frozen chicken pack, which is what I want to cook with for the day. What is not pictured here is <clears throat> tissue, pads, um, which I already unpacked and put aside. They weren't in this bag. So this whole shopping in terms of the supermarket cost me 4,000 shillings. Most of it is definitely more expensive. Actually, let me adjust this camera. So like I was saying, the cost of living here is very, very expensive. In terms of food, it's very expensive here. So like the shopping, it was costing me 4,000 shillings. And I was just thinking, wow, this should be like a small run to the supermarket because I didn't get spices. I did not get any like household items like um, cooking oil or any of the essentials. Just a, a short run into the supermarket. And I feel like it's kind of expensive here compared to Nairobi because we don't get our meals um, readily available in Masabit. Most of the food comes from Meru. So most of our fresh produce comes from Meru and um, also some of the milk comes from Meru. We do have the meat that comes locally because of the cows um, and the goats in the area. But either way, I still find it a little bit on the higher side compared to Nairobi. Um, so yeah, I think that's uh, it on the shopping haul for the day. Today is Saturday, it's market day, so I usually try and do shopping on market day that way i only have to do this run once um but we're home safely and i'm really happy that i'm still able to shop and get all the food so i'm gonna put all this away and then i will bring you along as i cook later and i'm taking my yogurt with me um my water I don't take this. I take the milk. Hi. Hi.